All right, let's continue on with this story. Talk to everyone here real quick. And of course you gotta talk to everybody at least once before you trigger the scenes to the next part. So once again, we're out on the water. Yeah, the thing about the water is you can really see the uh, lines of it. You can see where your pattern repeats. It's pretty obvious. But at least a decent a decent effort that it was. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we're gonna also be getting into battles, we're gonna get into two of them. And it's the same things we fought before, so there's no point showing those again. Now we're getting to our well Really? Our first boss fight, really? Well, our major boss fight. That isn't cute. Alright, pretty much they are. Definitely want to use the. Or, uh, definitely want to use the general ordeal. And if you have, of course, Tao, who has Clay Guardian, you definitely want to put that up. You most likely always want to use your. You're most likely always want to use your uh oh yeah he has a yeah his attacks generally do sleep so you, that's gonna get really annoying really quick you always want to use the ruin punishment abilities generally when you get uh, when against most enemies once you have a high magical defense then of course you want to stab in the face Of course, there's really no point in trying to wake up everyone. Just keep the hit, just keep the damage on them, and then our we'll main character it should be good. Uh, Sleep usually recovers after three rounds anyway, or until they hit. Now I use a Mega Missile in just case he hits the main character. He also has, a he also has an attack that hits everyone, I believe. For about 40 points of damage. Oh, he's dead to blame. And most sea creatures around here are weak to lightning. So if you had Kenneth, you definitely could do some really major damage with his lightning abilities. So you can go for another. Yeah, you can see constant sleep. Just deal with the fact that your half part is probably going to be out of the battle at one time. As you can see, it's all hit attack, 40 points of damage. That's why I just say keep everyone's HP up, it should be fine. Steve so might do a heal a little bit more, but there's really no point in using them. It's really, they're really expensive. For, well, for right now, they're expensive. So it's just better off just using those. Because you can actually get those from drops. And he's down. Still pretty simple, easy fight. Fair amount of experience. Of course, we get some nice items to drop here. Get some nice potch. And, well. Oh, that's just random. Alright, well now we're on the beach of some place, and pretty much you have to talk to everyone twice, so they can get back into your party. So I did a nice little rotation of everybody, see? It doesn't matter what order you do it in, as long as you talk to everyone twice. And of course each one just joins your party once you do that. All into our party. And finally get you up.
Yes, yeah, so now we get to explore the island. So let's do the save real quick. And let's go over here first. This actually, when you're playing this, is actually a lot more tedious than I'm going to show you. As you see, nice little edge of the island. Nothing really much here. And we'll go into this forest area here. There's actually an item that we're going we're going to get at the end of this area. So walk up these trees. Well, walk up this walkway through some more trees. And up on the hill, as you see over to our right, there's a treasure chest. There's a necklace. This is a headgear for Chibu. So we just put that on right now. I believe he's the only one in the party who can actually wear it. And let's get down, back down to the beach. Of course, you have the stereotypical tropical theme. Hey, we're on a beach after all. And there's two more areas we gotta explore. I'm showing you these now because we're gonna have to go back through these again. And of course the cave. We're definitely gonna be going up through here a lot. And this cave has three sections to it. So pretty much the story so far is uh they think we killed Commander Glenn. No trial, no investigation or anything, just sent us on our way. We've had two of our friends tag along and a kobold. Well, a nay kobold. Which are uh, people who haven't played this weekend in the series. There's two now there's two different kinds of kobolds. Nay kobolds and actual kobolds. Kobolds are dog looking people, while nay kobolds of course are cat people. And these cat people, as you heard from Chibu, they like cheese. And of course the last area we have is the Boulder Shade. And we've done exploring. Now at this point you can actually get an alternate ending. It's one of the, you know, stopping point endings. And if you say this place hasn't seen so bad three times, you will get that ending. But we're not doing that because we want to finish this game. And I will be showing that in the course of the special. Right now, we're going to do the item collecting. So first, we'll start with the longest one. I'll take the trees down. As you can see, we'll be going into the forest area to gather pieces of wood. And we'll just assign the other two to do other things. And we'll lose our party. And now, enemies are on the island. And of course, we got to gather three pieces of wood. We go into the forest. Don't worry, it's not like we actually have to, you know, really hard to find them, it's just... Well, let's just show off the enemies that are in this area. There's only one kind. Well, at least here. These guys are also weak to fire, but I'm going to run into them so many times that it's better for me just to stab them in the face. As you can see, I can do it easily in two rounds. And I'll be getting a couple of levels definitely through this alone. So you want to look for a tree that has a shimmering light to it. If you want to look around, I know I'm going kind of fast through here, but you know, usually they're usually located near the hill, as you can see. There's one right there, and should be one here. They actually are in random places in these two sections, so you definitely want to actually look around. Let's see. See it. Yes, it's not in this section. So we gotta go back one section and we'll be getting. There it is. So you completely missed that one. Because usually they're near the hill, but eh, this time they weren't.
But, of course, we're not done yet with this for today. We gotta go into the cave. There's really no reason for you to know to go into the cave except, you know, doing it. But before that, let's see what Chibu has to sell. Any more items? Nope. And just the items we had before. We'll restock. And we'll go into the cave. <laughs> 